In power rule of integration, we have tried to solve a function that has power z, uh, minus 1, but that doesn't work because when we do so, the answer becomes equal to an infinity, which is definitely we don't want in our economic analysis. So, in, sim in such situations, one formula can work and not just for this situation, for a number of situations and that situation is when the derivative is in the numerator and the original function is in the denominator. When we are to integrate such a function, we are going to apply the rule which is known as derivative over function rule. So, it is what it says derivative over derivative over function rule. So, this is very simple if the integrand is actually a derivative to primi a primitive ratio derivative to primitive ratio then the integration of that will simply be the natural log of the primitive and you can see the natural log of the primitive which is small f x plus c definitely is there as the constant of integration. In other words the primitive lies in the denominator while the derivative is placed in the numerator. So, you can put it in these words as well in terms of denominator and numerator the uh, derivative and the primitive respectively. Now, let us do a numerical example. Uh, we can do another simple numerical example something that we tried with power rule and did not work. We can write it like this 1 over x by reciprocalizing it when the power will become 1. Now, you can see that the derivative of f x is 1. So, it is the situation where the derivative is in the numerator and the original function is in the denominator. So, if this is the situation, the answer will be the natural log of the denominator that is the function that is natural log of x plus c will also be there because this is the uh, natural log that we are uh, getting as a result of integration for which we have to write the constant of integration. So, this is the solution of that uh, certain numerical that we had in our uh, power rule. Uh, this is um, just a reminder of it. Here you can see the power rule was not applicable where the power was minus 1 and it failed over here and definitely the, the, uh, the solution cannot be had by using power rule. We have to apply the derivative over function rule in this case. And uh, this was that example. Uh, here another example is given. The function is uh, x square plus 1 and the derivative place is 4x, but definitely it is not equal because its derivative is 2x. For that we can extract 1, 2 from this and this will allow us to have the derivative in the numerator. So, writing the function and then integrating it. Now, we know that the function has the derivative equal to 2x and not 4x. This is why we uh, divided this uh, 4x into these two terms in the form of a product and this 2 came out and 2x was left as well as the uh, denominator. Now, we have that certain situation where the function is in the denominator and its derivative is in the numerator which is equal to 2x. So, this 2 will remain outside and, and natural log will appear as you can see natural log of the denominator or the function and 2 remains there as it was. So, this is how we have solved a function where derivative over function situation was prevailing and now we can plot it this c is assumed to be equal to 1 just for the sake of ease and being uh, to be able to better understand the uh, function in the form of a graph. So, you can see the uh, function it is uh, here the function the derivative of the function and the function itself. So, this was the given function and this is the derivative of the function that we have solved. So, blue line is showing the function and then the integration of it is uh, plotted in the green line. Definitely, they are appearing in a certain way where we have so, the value of c is 1 here, this is why the intercept is 1. So, here we have uh, plotted the function and the derivative and this was the uh, power over function rule that we have done numerically as well as graphically. Thank you.